They're tough everywhere. They're tough on the outside. They're tough inside on slots. Pretty tough on tight ends. Where the hell is Jameis going to go with a football? If this doesn't hit, my head may explode. I I'll be flabbergasted. This is gambling. This really, truly is gambling, but I don't know about this one. This one, I don't know if this is gambling. We go five and one with the top six, but overall, we're, we're, we're still, you know, it's good, but could have been better. Uh, we win five of eight here, but uh, I'm pretty happy that the top five went four and one. Again, the top six went five and one. Uh, we loved Bijan. I was on VEASAN on Sunday morning with Rich Gannon and Tim on the tailgate show. And I, I man, I was very, very uh, vocal on that one. I'm like, this is going to hit uh, Mike Evans. Easy win there. Marvin Harrison, this is once again the fantasy Spidey sense coming up for me, uh, and it hit here, but didn't didn't hit by much. I think he got it by like eight yards, but he scored, uh, got it done as I expected. May have gotten a little lucky here with Jamar Chase. Um, he does hit this number, and it was not looking good until he had that, what was that, 49-yarder, 47-yarder. I still have no idea what happened to Will Disley. I mean, dude got one target. Lad McConkey out there bogarting the targets. Ramondre came through. That was a pretty easy one. And I'm, I'm still stunned that, that Cooper Cup did so poorly. Should have went with Puka. Uh, I thought both guys would do better, do very well. Um, that's why I went with the lower-ended guy. And then Tank Dell, eh. You know, that was a schematic thing. I thought the number was good. Uh, came like 20 yards shy. So pretty solid, though. I, I remember I had Russ Wilson as one of my top uh, plays over at FantasyPoints.com. I know that was one of our leans here. Uh, so we get into, speaking of Russ Wilson, some of the other more interesting action. We, by the way, move to 109 and 74. Uh, not bad. I don't know. It's, it's like 60%, something like that. We need to go on a nice little run here. Uh, have a couple like really good weeks like we did in September and October to get us well over that 60% mark, but could be worse. We do have some propage here to pop out. And uh, for whatever reason, Monday night has been uh, very good uh, for yours truly. I'm at, uh, I think, 67% uh, officially on Monday Night Football uh, over at FantasyPoints.com. And uh, hopefully we can uh, continue to uh, do well. So I'll start with a couple of leans, though, just just to throw them out there for people looking for other angles. I don't know, maybe you're looking to do a parlay, a multi-leg parlay, like a five-legger. Uh, how about little Bo Nix over one5 touchdowns. I mean, my man is getting multiple touchdowns on the regular here. He's done it four out of his last five weeks. And starting in early October, he's done this one, two, three, four, five, six of his last eight. It's pretty good. Um, so I think they stay hot with a good matchup. Cleveland, uh, pretty darn giving to opposing quarterbacks, of course. Um, not not a scary matchup at all. They're giving up 1.8, by the way, in their last four. Knicks is averaging two in that span. And as I mentioned, nine yards in attempt. Quarterbacks are averaging over the last four weeks against Cleveland. Thought they had. A, they actually do have a good defense, personnel wise. They've got three good corners. They're just not. Still not that good, though. So Bo Nix should get multiple touchdown passes once again. I don't have the courage to go for a Bronco running back prop, but I will lean it to Javante Williams over 55.5 rushing and receiving yards. At the very least, Audric Estime last week had only three carries, 15 yards, and only an 8% snap share. The Browns can be run on. They give up the 11th most rushing adjusted yards per contact per game. Uh, they do give up the 8th fewest rushing yards per game and the 7th fewest receiving yards per game, which is why I'm not making this an official play. But 
Javante, I will say, tends to do well against good defenses in a weird way. But uh, I certainly think Javante Williams uh, has a real good chance to get to this number. I mean, you catch a little dump off maybe. You take that 10, 10, 12 yards. You do that a couple of times. I know he doesn't average a lot per reception. but Or, you know, there's many paths to it. Maybe he gets volume late and they continue to feed him. He's the hot hand per se, and, uh, and they go with it. But time now for official, official picks. These will go on the record. And hopefully we go at least two and one here with three picks. We'll start with Jerome Ford. Uh, I I actually wasn't on this uh, over the weekend, but doing uh, some further inspection for this show, I'm like, you know what? This is really good. So let me add it to the website. And I'm going to, of course, play it here. Uh, Jerome Ford over 12 and a half yards receiving. Um, Once again, not too much to ask. Last year, uh, Jerome Ford played the Broncos and he actually did catch four balls, granted for only 14 yards. But the Broncos have been a funnel, check down funnel, basically, because they're, they're, they're tough everywhere. They're tough on the outside. They're tough inside on slots. Pretty tough on tight ends as well. So where the hell is Jameis going to go with a football if they're especially playing from behind, because Bo Nix and the Broncos are pretty hot. Uh, it's in Denver. So the answer is Jerome Ford. I mean, if this doesn't hit, my head may explode. Uh, I, I don't, I, I'll don't. i be flabbergasted. This is gambling. This really, truly is gambling. But I don't know about this one. This one, I don't know if this is gambling. Uh, Jerome Ford, over 12 and a half yards. Of course, I said that in October when I was high on my mighty horse. And uh, I did have to admit later that, yes, this is, in fact, gambling. But uh, I don't know about this one. I don't know if that's gambling. Moving on to the next one, which is it's a little suspect because normally I like to have data points behind me. And we don't have a ton here, but I'm going to go for it with David Njoku, over 46.5, a.k.a. the Chief. Um, I talk with our guy, uh my good friend Nate Zagura, who is the color commentator for the Cleveland Browns, and he works for the website. Uh, fantasy guy, of course. Uh, I've done some broadcasts with him dating back, uh, oh, well over a decade ago. But, uh, you know, he obviously is dialed in with the Browns. I, I check in on the Browns with him often. They love Najoku, they always have. Uh, he's a great leader. You saw what he did last year when he had that burn incident, still suited up and balled out. He dropped that touchdown last week. That was a critical drop. And I know that I believe it weighed on him. So I I think they're going to get him the ball as Tom Brawley kind of agreed with my assessment there. And again, it's just eliminating and isolating. Well, let's eliminate the guys with bad matchups. Well, when we do that, uh, we're kind of left with, David Njoku, even though his matchup isn't great. They did limit Brock Bowers to just four grabs for 38 last week on 10 targets. Uh, They do, though, give up the 13th most receptions per game to the position. They can be a little bit of a check down kind of funnel, basically, because you're not getting much on the outside against uh, the Denver Broncos, due in large part to Mr. Pat Sertan. I know he's not that great against single high, so this is probably going to be close. But I do think that they're going to have to throw a lot, and I could see David Njoku getting 9, 10 targets in the game. And if he does, I feel pretty darn good that he'll hit. And then last but not least, it is Cortland Sutton. Now, full disclosure, I'm in on – and if if this – Loses by a yard, I'm going to be ticked. But uh, I did get in on this uh, on Friday at 63.5. Certainly a good sign that it was bet up to 64.5, although that's not uh, a massive increase, but we did go up. You'd rather see your prop that you're in on go up uh, the number than down, obviously. That means that there have been more people betting up uh, Mr. Sutton, who's just been the model of consistency uh, this year with Bo Nix. It's... uh, it's actually kind of remarkable. They are top 10 are the Browns in single high implementation. And they also deploy man coverage at a top 10 clip. And he crushes those shells, basically 2.95 yard per route run against man and 2.76 yards per route run against single high, which are outstanding. 
I think he'll potentially get a little bit of that Martin Emerson matchup, which is really good. He does give up big plays, but I feel confident that we'll get to this number. It probably will be relatively close. He'll probably end up with like 74 yards, something like that, if things go uh, according to plan. Uh, yeah, I don't feel amazing about these, but I feel good. Good enough to make the picks. Jerome Ford over 12 and a half receiving yards. I think I feel best about that one. And I didn't even know I liked that one when I woke up this morning, but dove in. I'm like, you know what? This one's hitting. David Njoku over 46.5. Cortland Sutton over 64.5. We're up to the Monday night special. And yes, we have been a little uh, cold on these lately, but... We've come close. We've come extremely close on a lot of these. And I think it's time, because we had so much success early in the season, I think it's time to go back to a touchdown prop. We'll make this uh, very basic and very simple. David Njoku, a.k.a. the Chief, dropped an easy ball. Like, literally, I would have caught that. I actually do have very good hands. Uh, But I would have caught that ball in the end zone. But David Njoku, the professional, did not. And I'm sure he's... That's stuck in his craw, so he will make up for it this evening. David Njoku, anytime touchdown. This is pretty good, plus 270. I know the Browns have a low implied total, so probably only going to score two tutties, but I believe that one of them will be to Njoku, plus 270. If it hits, you are welcome. Thanks for watching, but don't let the betting insights end here. If you want an extra edge this football season, you can get a month of VEASAN Pro right now absolutely free. That means access to our betting insights, analysis, and tools like our betting splits at zero cost to you. Click the link in the description to sign up.